go on to the 7 versus 10 matchup in the West. We've got the day two players facing off the Hey, there he is. How you feeling, man? You know me, man. I'm cool. I'm cool. What did the doctor say? Man, torn ACL, PCL, dislocated toe. Hey, we got your back, Pete. All right, we'll take a minute, but you'll be back pulling that weak sham again in no time. <laughs> Boy, stop. You know my sham, Lethal Cut. Yeah, what up? <laughs> man, appreciate y'all. For real. Spoke to Coach and he, uh, and we decided to be best if I had. <sighs> Rehab back home. Man, what you talking about? Medical Center is one of the best in the country. <laughs> Come on, Che. You and I both know I ain't getting no burn here. Figure out. Get my knee right, maybe I could transfer down a little. So, transfer? Hold on, what's going on? This school's your life. Look, Jay, uh, Coach took my scholarship, man. Man of the hour. At the moon, Dr. Home. Heck of a performance on Saturday. It's amazing what you can accomplish when you limit distractions. Go on, son. You pulling Porter's scholarship? It's Jim Porter and me. Answer the question, hey, coach. Hey, hey, watch your tone, okay? I you know you're upset. I am too, but there's some things you don't understand. I mean, it seems pretty simple to me, coach. You recruit a kid, he gets hurt, and you force him to transfer and bring in somebody better. Coach, does that sound about right? No, no. Jay, listen to me. Coach, man, Porter did everything you asked. Good kid. All that talk about us being family are really now is it a school? You know what we are, coach? We're just entertainment. I should be the more for you, coach. Listen, come in. Hey. We come back here. Okay, you running with the subs. Huh? All right, guys, to bring it in. Take the port on three. One, two, three. Take, Take the port. All right, let's go. So your contention is that athletes, specifically basketball players, have leveraged their marketability to get more bargaining power with ownership? Pretty much. Pretty much. Not exactly a hard sell for your thesis. Now, I've been your advisor for four years. You've never once swallowed your tongue. Out with it. Kid on my team. Porter Rose? Yeah, I click out on watch. You don't even have a TV East. How bad was it? It's bad. I mean, I'm the captain. And I feel like I can't do anything. You can be heard. Oh, best believe I gave it to Coach. And I got no problem having more with Dr. Owen either. He is fake as they come. Don't I know it? When I didn't get tenure last year, you spent two months petitioning for me. Rallying students, collecting signatures. And that didn't even make a difference. It did to me. That's what kept me going. That's why I'm still here. You know the reason it didn't change anything? It's because I'm expendable. 
Outside of these gates, no one has a clue who I am. Sometimes words just aren't enough. If you really want them to hear you, you gotta be willing to sacrifice, Jay. Come on, crew. Thought we talked about pregame nutrition, big man. Some things are bigger than the game. Don't I know. Hey, let me holler at y'all for a sec, fellas. Y'all know how long I've been wanting this, man. Sometimes you gotta put others before yourself. No matter how much it hurts. As your captains, what you expect of me, and honestly, is what I expect of myself. And that's why I can't just sit back and let what happened to Porter just ride. It's not who I am, and as a team, it's not who we are. So I'm not about my own coach's actions. I'm not gonna be playing today, fellas. Look, man, I know y'all heated, and I will be too, but like Bruce said, man, some things are bigger than ball. Nah. You're not shooting me while we. We brothers, Shay. They want to do Porter dirty, they gonna feel us. They gonna feel all of us. But I can't let you do that, Ty. Look, I'm a senior. They can't do nothing to me, man, but y'all got y'all whole futures ahead of y'all, right? And y'all been rocking with me this far? This school? Nah, man, this whole country will know that I speak for everybody in here, right? All right, let's go. Okay, did you get the tip time? Come on, good change, let's go. I can't do that, coach. Excuse me? Whatever point you think you're making, son, now is not the time. You are the captain of this team. Better act like it. I believe I am, coach. Oh. Ty, take the team out. All right, fellas, let's do this. Come on, Ty. All right, all right, all right. Don't rush it, don't rush it. Take it down the course more. Hey, hey, go, 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 go up, go up. Oh, come on, bro. You gotta spike that, man. I told him not to eat that burrito. Sorry, fellas. Forget that. Just because we lost, don't make it a bad decision. Feel me? The only violation is on our coach and our school president. When they violated the fate that we as a team had in our athletic department, when they forced my friend Porter Rose to transfer. So you're being penalized for speaking up? It was a choice. You chose to sit out. I chose to stand up. Thank you. Hey, it's your boy Jesus Nice and the Kid Merrill, and we are back here with our homie Che. How's it going, man? Good, good. That's right, Che Z in the building, just giving the rock. 
Listen, man, what's the response been like online? Both sides. And everybody got the hot take, but can't please them all. True. Listen, you try to please them all, you're gonna go crazy. Stay true to Che. That's how I stay true to Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I go in my basement, I lock in my 2K on my 72 inch TV and maybe a big burrito on my belly and ignore all phone calls. That's right. Self care is important, brother. I respect that move. Thank you. You know, the only thing important to me right now is talking mad smack on a headset to some kid named Dimitri in Athens. Like, fam, I got your IP address. Cross me up one more time. I'm taking out you, your mother, whatever's left of the Acropolis early. <laughs> Until you find out he's really Giannis and homie got like 38 brothers. That's real. I want no smoke with them. You know what I'm saying? But yo, is anybody coming at you real hard though on the, on the social media tip? You know what I mean? Trying to get at you? Yeah, but you know what? I, I try to stay away from the social media stuff. Honestly, really, I just wanted to help out my teammate, man. And I feel like our school was way better than the way they treat him. Real talk. I mean, you? Yeah, the school? But hey, yo, keep repping for us, man. Keep that fist up, you know what I mean? Keep doing your thing. That's right, man. Keep putting on for all the scrubs out here. Yo, up next, what do turtles keep in their shell? Four experts weigh in. Hmm. Mm. I think pennies. I like a pop pop. You were three months from graduating, Che. This is insane. No, what's insane is that my mother got death threats. I can't stay here. Che, look at me. Look at me. Okay. I know this is hard, but by dropping out, you are letting them win. They already won, Issa. Porter's no close to getting the scholarship back and half the school hates me. Look, I'm not saying I regret it, right? Because I don't. But I'm not going to stay on the campus. They don't even want me here. So all the work you've done, you're just gonna throw it away? Throw it away? You think me getting a diploma from a man who doesn't even respect me somehow makes this all worthwhile? Yes, I do. It's a diploma. I don't care about no diploma. So now what? <sighs> nah, it gets real. You know, three years ago, it wasn't even a question that I was gonna get drafted. Not a question, but now. You know what's funny? Every year my numbers kept on improving. Yet my stock just kept on dropping, man. Honestly, Issa, I don't even know where to begin. You know, I don't know Jack about basketball. Damn sure no research. And we'll figure this out. I'm gonna go home and get my mind right. You had a six or something.
Hey, I appreciate the run, man. That was a good one. All right. Uh, did you say it? I'll call you any time? Really? All right, cool, cool. Yeah, well, you can tell me some things. Well, fine. That's fine, too. What? Yeah, I'm done. Friday night. Let's do it. A little bit. I gotta show out to get the official NBA combine in by Chicago. I've been playing this game your whole life. I think, I think there's a little bit more strategy to it than that. So that's to me. Nothing. I know you're doing all you can. Just aim success. Excuse me, Jay. Yeah. Can I have your autograph? Sure, kid. What's your name? Tony. Tony, who is your favorite player? Uh, Spider Mitchell. Some scary talent right there. Oh, cool. Thanks. You're welcome. Got a lot to live up to. I'm just trying to survive the next few months with a job in hand. That's it, Lisa. How feels that? Let's just stop talking about it. Jay, sit. Someone I want to introduce. Israel Bacon, meet Jay. Hello, young man. How's it going? While you're out there weaving between colors, Israel approached me about a really unique opportunity. A signature sneaker. You serious? <laughs> hey, who are you with, Puma? I left the corporate side a few years ago. Spent the last two years traveling. Educating myself on what's really going on in the world. That's real. The vast majority of the world is way more concerned with feeding their children than their follower numbers on Instagram. Hey, what else I saw? Basketball. Everywhere. I saw what the game really means. The escape it provides, and I knew that I had to get involved somehow. Tell me about the brand. Ah. The company is called Comic. Since we don't have overhead, we're able to give 50% of our proceeds to young children living in conflict regions throughout the globe. Our success hinges on authenticity. That's why we need educated, outspoken young athletes to push the brand. Guys like you, Jay. Look, don't get me wrong, I get what you're saying, but this just seems a little bit premature. Honestly, right now, I'm just praying I'll make a squad. That's right there. Humble. See, people relate to the struggle, the hustle. That's how we build our fan base. It's also how we pull in investors. Investors? I thought this was already up and running. No, it's definitely happening, but we have to do the anyway. First part of it is getting the right athlete on board. Ideally, you will be an angel investor. The guy without a contract? You'll be coming in on the ground, John. Hold me. Exactly. So basically you want to give me stake in a company that doesn't really exist. Cool. Just cool. No, Chip, don't be disrespectful. It's okay, Ash. Let me ask you a question. How much of your own gray have you put into this? I'm sweating on the chain. 
heart to count the heroes out. Yeah, no doubt. Look, I appreciate your interest in me, but this is not for me right now. Zach Bailey, man. Good to meet you. Big fan. All right. Sorry, man. I just... I, what? <laughs> Expecting someone who shaves? Yeah. 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 I know. Well, my mom says that I'll appreciate the baby face later, but right now I'm still single and getting covered with movie theaters, so I'm working on that James Harden thing, you know? So, uh... Pre-draft. Anxious? Yeah, but you know what? It's time. Fair enough. Damn right. Well, I'm just going to be level with you. Uh, the NBA execs are a little anxious about your decision to stay in school. And you couple that with your demonstration. And let's just say taking a flyer on an unproven 18-year-old starts to look a little bit more appealing. What happens to drafting someone who's more mature? Who can actually come in and contribute? Yeah, fair enough. But look, in this racket, potential will always reign supreme. But don't worry about it. We still got a chance, okay? I'm just trying to let you in on the perception that's out there. But I, uh, <clears throat> I do want to kick your ear about your little situation with the, your advisor. Who, Issa? Yeah. Oh, she just helped me out. I trust Issa. Okay. Well, did she have anything to do with your decision to stay in school or sit out that game? What are you getting at? <laughs> All I'm saying is, if you and I want to try and make it into the league, I can't have anyone else in your ear. Okay, so who do I tell? Well, Che, you're a professional now. You say thank you and goodbye. I gotta go. I'm double parked in a handicap. I liked Ezra's message. Felt like it was on brand. I should have come to you first. I'm trying to make a squad, Issa, not change the world. Can you understand that? Yes. I'll let him know. I met with her agent earlier. Oh. That's good, right? Did you like them? Yeah, he made some good points. Jazz? You realize how much money I cost myself by staying in school these last few years? I mean, if I had gone pro earlier, maybe the portal stuff never even happens. <laughs> Is that your string theory? We talked about the risk, Che. We even got you an insurance policy in case you got injured. If I haven't had you in my ear talking about breaking the mold, I might have done things different. Excuse me? You know I did nothing of the sort. I supported you, sure, but those were your decisions. But you knew better, Issa. You should have stopped me. Jay, I'm not doing this. I'm glad that you found an agent. I truly am. And since it seems I'm no longer needed here, I'll be heading. Stay true, Jay.
decent, but numbers are overrated anyway. I mean, KD couldn't bench 185 once. You think he's losing sleep over it? Actually, he may be, but he's a different type of cat. Look, Jay, if you want this combine now, you're going to have to perform in these scrimmages. Stay within yourself, but be vocal. We're selling you as a locker room. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, what did the left eye say to the right eye? What? Between you and me, something smells. Huh? <clears throat> Isn't that stupid? Yeah, yeah, this is pretty bad. Yeah. Um, Tim Duncan used to have his strength coach tell him a joke before every game and keep him loose. Just relax, Jay, and leave it all out there on the wood. Gotcha. Another day on the wood, boss. How you gotta look at it? Yeah, well, maybe for you. How many scouts you think made out to Montana to check on me, huh? Don't listen to him, Jonas. Jay ain't got no worries. This don't pan out. Adam Silver probably mentioned him himself. Poster boy for principal. <laughs> That's funny, Ox. But I'd rather be the boy getting posted if it means I'm making a squad, you feel me? What's up, fellas? Hey. Whoa, what's up? Howdy, what's up, man? Yeah, a lot of history in this locker room, man. Yeah, check this out. Take a look at this. You know, I'm from Arkansas. Youngest of 12. My dad worked in a mill. Nothing special about the way we grew up. Just poor folks. Sure some of you guys can relate to that, right? Yeah. You know, coming out of high school, I was only 6'1". 150 pounds. Wet. I only received one offer. Central Arkansas, and that was to be the team manager. <laughs> but something happened between my freshman and my junior year. I caught inches. Yeah, I was six seven and starting to feast on cats. But this ain't no dude. This Central Arkansas. My coach is going crazy, going broke, calling all over, trying to get scouts just to come check me. But my senior year, a man named Marty Blake. Marty was known as the super scout for the NBA. He's helped out a lot of people like myself, John Stock, Ben Wallace. He got us each into the Portsmouth invite, which changed our lives. If you want it bad enough, if you're willing to sacrifice, it will find you. I got six of those to prove. I, I stay ready cause that's the 
Oh! <laughs> 